Welcome back to LMS portal, Dr. Kavita for BA Optional English, 4th semester, section poetry, session 14. We have arrived to the last session of the poem, Gandhi and Poetry, written by K. Sachidanandan. Before we get into the last stanza of the poem, let us have a retrospective view of the previous sessions in brief. So in the previous sessions, we came to know that the poem visited Gandhi's ashram. And the poem was so desperate to get the attention of Gandhi by clearing his throat. Gandhi looking at the poem understood that the poem was in the hell. He felt disgust and posed a few questions to the poem about the common realities of the suffering human beings in the world. The poem knew no answer to whatever Gandhi asked. The poem felt very helpless and it said about its nature of royal birth that it was born in the woods through a hunter's mouth and it was flourished by a fisherman which connected us to the birth of poetry through Valmiki and the flourishment of poetry through Vyasa. And we also came to know that though the poem was born in a royal clan, it could not serve the purpose of the common man. And hence it is in the street half starved. So now let us get into the third stanza which is the last stanza of the poem. Let me read the text. I named it as the practical reality. But you must give up this habit of speaking in Sanskrit at times. Go to the fields, listen to the peasant's speech. So after Gandhi heard the sad story of the poem, Gandhi laughed within himself and he gave a piece of advice to the poem which I read now. He said, please stop the habit of speaking in Sanskrit at times. Go to the fields and listen to the peace and speech. So now, the poem which was always flying high in the sky, it dropped down to the earth. It felt like a seed, like a grain, just dropped in the mud. So this is what the practical reality of whatever Gandhi said to the poem. The stunning conversation between Gandhi and the poem has a clear cut vision of how a poetry should serve the common people's need. It should serve the suffering beings. It should have a subject like poverty, exploitation, misery, sorrow, common man struggle and survival, etc. Because these are the things that on a daily basis man 
needs to know more about themselves and finally we can also understand that gandhi's intention of making the poem accessible to all the people irrespective of any differentiation here i would like to relate gandhi's strengthening words to wordsworth defense of poetry so in the defense of poetry what wordsworth say is that poems are written chiefly for the people and it should serve the purpose of the poetic pleasure it should serve the purpose of the poetic merits so here whatever gandhi said go to the fields listen to the peasant speech so he wanted the poems to listen to their sad stories so now here coming to the poem the poem felt a kind of transformation with the strengthening words of gandhi let us see the text what kind of a transformation the poem takes reading the text now the poem turned into a grain and lay waiting in the fields for the triller to come and upturn the virgin soil moist with new rain so as i said now the poem got to the ground it understood where the stuff is it's not flying anywhere with a status or with a class it is underneath the ground what we say is the ground reality so now it turned into a grain a small grain and it started to wait in the field for the farmers to come and people to approach and those stories upturned the status of the poetry is such a symbolic way of expression it upturned the virgin soil sanskrit language so a virgin language now it had to upturn moist with new rain so it has to now grow with a new understanding and that is how today mo- modern poetry are totally the last four lines were so symbolically expressed by the writer so the farmers are symbolized for the modern poets those who tills the virgin soil which refers to the new subject in the poetry and new experiences their sweat and hard work is mixed with the new rain of nature and that results in a new birth of poetry which is a greater than whatever the poem previously gave for the class society which is also a universal truth now let me get to a critic allen ginsberg who rightly pointed out that 
Poetry is the one place where people can speak their original human mind. It is the outlet for people to say in public what is known in private. In fact, if Sachidanandan would have directly said or written a poem about Sanskrit language, the noble language of the country India, I don't think so anybody would have accepted. But he so nicely rendered his poem with such a high thoughts that he made an encounter with an abstract poem with Gandhi, the father of our nation and made us also to accept the universal truth of what a common man need is through a poem. Here the analysis of the overall poem is that we need poems which speaks about the sad stories, the nameless people, unremembered acts of kindness, love, marriage, life, what not. So poetry should be a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. It needs subject, variety of subjects which has to be infused with the common reality and that is how a poem reaches to the common man. And here we also came across such an excellent poem and all I would like to thank K. Sachidanandan for his excellent poetic creation. Thank you. I have placed revisions of all three sessions for students to benefit for their exams and I have placed uh, references also. I hope all enjoyed the poem. Thank you.